Okay, it looks like we're live, but I'm going to turn around and check my computer and I'll be right back. Okay, everything looks good back there. Hey, Terry. I sent you back a note today, Terry. Um, hi, I'm Kelly. I'm uh, My business is Chestnut Junction, and we specialize in e-patterns for primitive dolls, crafts, and embroidery. Um, if you are catching us live, you will see the live button up there in the corner of your screen, and you can interact in the live chat and interact with other people in the live chat. If you are, if you don't see that live button up in your screen, you are catching us on the replay um, and you can still comment, but uh, comment hashtag replay in the comments so we know that you came by. Um, and today we are going to be working on a sculpted nose um, for a doll. Um, whenever you buy one of our e-patterns, uh, We'll give you a pattern piece for the sculpted, um, for the sculpted nose, and it's just I think I I just usually give you two lines, okay? But you're gonna cut that piece out, all right? And you're gonna put it on your doll. And today, just because I'm in an awkward position, and I'm kind of having to do this stuff backwards, I'm probably gonna pin this in place. We're normally I just go with it and really don't pin it in place. Boy, my hair's all wacky, isn't it? Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Come on in. I'm Kelly. I'm from Chestnut Junction. And we do primitive crap, primitive crafts, primitive patterns. So, like I said, we, we're going to do a sculpted nose today. We've taken our pattern, cut it out, and we are going to pin it in place on the front of our doll's face. Hey, Angela. Hey, Susan. Okay, so we've got that nose, nose piece pinned onto the front of the doll's face. Hi, Sandy. Sandy was the winner of our, um, of our free giveaway last week. So we sent her out that free pumpkin, and she, she, we actually chatted a little bit. She's a very nice lady. Sent us, sent us a very nice thank you. Um, so we've got that pinned on, and we have our disappearing. I use Mark Be Gone. This is a water soluble disappearing pen, meaning uh, when water or liquid hits it, it will disappear. Um, there are generic brands of this. Um, I think Dritz makes Mark Be Gone, I think. Um, but I know Walmart has a generic brand in their craft department. Okay. So for this nose, basically all we need is the outside edges. Hi, Betty. Um, so I'm going to go and, and trace the outsides of this nose. Guys, I'm gonna have to look at it while I do this, okay? And basically, we just need the outside traced. Hello, hello, hi Susan, hi Jenny, hi Betty. Well, Betty, did I say all, hi to you already? Okay, so pattern piece is on there. Uh, we went ahead and traced it, so I'm going to remove my pen and I'm going to remove my nose pattern piece. So now you see these two lines that um, are there for our sculpted nose. Today we are working on a, a sculpted nose. Um, I will be using crochet thread, just cream crochet, crochet, crochet thread. This is my go-to for everything is, is the, the crochet thread. Then I'm going to be using 
uh, a doll needle. They're like called doll needles or a sculpted doll needle. Um, but they are, it's a five inch long needle. Um, and these are made by Dritz. Um, and I actually, Joann's, I think Joann's is where I get these from, okay? Um, you don't have to use this. I just find it easier to use, okay? And I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna cut off. I was gonna say, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to um, have to position myself and the camera to show this to you guys correctly. So I'm gonna cut myself off a pretty long piece of crochet thread. I'm gonna say this is running maybe 24 plus inches, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the, um, and guys, I have to put this in my mouth. Sorry, my germs will get baked down in the doll anyway. So, um, we're gonna get our doll, doll, our long, five inch long doll needle um, threaded. No knot on the end and left the tail up here. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and and bend you guys down to show you to show you this, okay? And this is this is my version of this, and why I do the things I do. Maybe not everybody does this, but this is this is the Kelly version, okay? So we've got our doll with her nose traced on, and we're gonna put her face down. All right. I'm taking my needle. And I'm going to come in on the back, back of her head, all right? And I'm gonna pull it through. Can you guys see that? And then I'm just gonna give this two little ties, just two, like knot it twice, okay? Hi guys, hello, hello. Thanks to everybody joining us. All right, so we're on the, she tangled up there. We're on the back of the doll's head, all right? You see, I've, I've given, I've knotted, I've, I've knotted this, this thread. And I've given this thread a little knot on the back because it's gonna give me stability. Whenever you're doing a sculpted nose, you, you pull the thread. I mean, you, you tug on it. So you you need a little anchor back here um, to give you some support, all right? So I'm gonna take my needle and just go right in there where I've made that knot, all right? And I'm gonna go through the doll's head and I'm gonna come out. Okay, I'm going to come out at the top of the trace line out here on the outside, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. Like I said, you're gonna, you're gonna be pulling here. And I'm using, if you're just joining us, we are doing a sculpted nose for a doll. I am using crochet thread. We have traced this on with a Mark Be Gone pen and I'm using a five inch uh, doll needle. So we are going to come down about a quarter, I, I say a quarter of an inch, okay? We're going to come down a quarter of an inch, go under, go under the fabric, okay? And go straight across. Don't, don't go over there and, and come out the top over here. That is not, no, no, no. That's not what we are doing, okay? We have come down a quarter of an inch and we are gonna come down here. We're gonna go straight across. So we're a quarter of an inch on that line, okay? So just bring this through. And of course, when you have this long piece of thread, it's gonna wanna knot up and get caught on everything, but just be patient, okay? 
and I go ahead and I, I give that a squeeze because we're, we're trying to, to sculpt here, okay? So now, what the heck is that? Now we are going to come down. We're staying in quarter inch increments here. We're gonna go down on that line. Go under your fabric. Pull, you can feel, you can feel if you're going under stuffing or not. It's, it's good to go under stuffing. Like you don't just wanna catch the fabric. You wanna get some, some, uh, some polyfill under there too. So here again, don't go, we're going straight across. Don't go diagonal. We want to go straight across. All right, and and come out the other side on that line. All right. And each time I do this, I give it a pull, you know, and and try to work with it. Oh, I, I didn't think about the, the dryer sheet. Yeah. So we've come through. And now we're going to go down another quarter of an inch. Go under the fabric. All right. You guys seeing this? And then straight across and we're like another quarter of an inch. I think I might have to switch my glasses again. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's so much better. And like I said, each time I do this, I I I work it, you know. You're you're wanting that thread to be tight. Go under your nose under some fiber fill, under the polyfill, and come out the other side. If you're just joining us, I'm Kelly. I'm from Chestnut Junction, and we are working on a needle sculpted nose. We are using a five inch doll needle and crochet thread. And I like crochet thread too because, um, like I said, you, you're you're pulling. You you need some some strong thread. And sometimes I find that just regular old thread, uh, it'll break. But we're moving down these traced lines at quarter inch increments. Okay. And each time we go down, I'm I'm giving that a tug. All right. And remember, I can give it that tug because I started out with that knot that I put on the back. Okay. So we're we're getting down here. Looks like we can get two more stitches in. and give that a and see like the, the what I mean about pulling up um, fiber fill like you don't want to go through and just go under the muslin you, you want to pick up some fiber I keep calling it fiber fill some polyfill you want to you want to pick up some polyfill uh, underneath your needle so we've come down and we are at the bottom of our traced line here All right, so we had started up at the top and we slowly went back and forth, moving down to the bottom of the nose. So now we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to go up. All right, so we're going to take our needle and now we're going to use the same holes that we used on the way down. See? I'm going to use the same holes. All right. 
right and so, and give it a give it a little tug you'll start to see how because we're starting to go up the other side you're really seeing that nose come together now right and we're just going to continue we're going to continue to work up all right go under and use that same hole that you used on the way down. And like I said, don't be afraid. If you're using the crochet thread, don't be afraid to give it a little tug. You, you want your nose to, to have some, um, some shape and form to it. And we're just coming back up the nose the same way we went down using those same uh, holes that way your nose is even on both sides and it just looks neat Get in there. There we go. Oops, I lost my um I lost my thread there. I'm gonna have to re-thread here for a second. Okay. We've only got two more to do. I said we're following this traced line. We're going under the muslin and picking up some 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 polyfill in the process okay now we're back up to the top so i'm just going to go and take my needle this this was our, our last stitch here i'm going to take my needle put it into the doll's head going to come back around here and see it's going to take me a minute or a time or two to try I'm coming right back out where I started all right and go ahead and, and give that a little bit of a of a pull all right it's a front of our go ahead and give that a little bit of, pull, of a pull all right, so remember that tail we left at the beginning? Go ahead and take that tail and the thread you were just using and tie a knot, okay? I usually do a knot two or three times. And then trim up my ends. And they can just come back on the front here and I always go back through and like try to you know work the fiber fill around um, to get it all even looking and uh, you know just work it in there but that that is how you do a sculpted nose all right Switch my glasses again. I'm gonna look real quick here to see if anybody had any questions. I know, Sin, these long needles, I, I love them. I love them and um, 
you guys make sure to check it's, uh, Cynthia Chapman there. She's got um, her business is Sin's Place. Um, she does cute little primitives and, and wood items. You need to check her out. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like um, anybody has any other questions. Oh, hugs from the Canary Islands. Oh, goodness. Hugs to you, Rita. Ooh. That sounds like a good place to be. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, uh, my mind just went blank. Who am I? Oh, I'm, Cal I'm, I'm Callie. That's me. I'm Callie from Chestnut Junction. Um, uh, our website is www.chestnutjunction.com and our Etsy is www.etsy.com slash shop. Uh, slash chestnut junction um if you could uh, sprinkle the love with this video we would so much appreciate it um and, and get your friends to like our page um that's you know we'd appreciate appreciate the love okay you guys have a great day thanks so much for joining me love you bye